Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. When you get through that storm in your life, are you stronger? Now, what does that mean? So we all go through things in our life. Some people go through hell. Some people go through real difficult times that it puts them on the brink of questioning if they can even cope with the very aspect of getting up first thing in the morning. Some people go through things and they don't show it. Some people can be going through something and they can still be smiling on the outside, but on the inside that they can be at breaking point. I sometimes associate this as that we go through a storm in our life and that storm passes. I think that's that's a good sentiment to hold on to, that whatever we go through in our life, that it passes, whether we're left in a good position or a hurting position, or we're left with broken pieces. I think one thing which I take from my faith is that from broken pieces or in a bad position or in an awkward position, that good things can come from those broken pieces, those difficult times. They grow us. They give us experience. They give us perseverance. They give us life experience. And they grow us as individuals from a mental health aspect. They grow us emotionally and they grow us in more points that sometimes that we can imagine. For example, emotionally, sometimes after when we've gone through something, we're in a stronger position to advise and to be able to guide family, friends, when actually if you reverse back several years without you going through that, you may not have been able to have known what to say in a loved one's difficult situation or when someone you love is going through an absolute nightmare. You may sometimes after having gone through something know the right thing to say but yet at first glance you may actually think I don't I don't understand I don't know how to help you it's when we go through things and it grows us it puts us in a stronger position to be able to go on further to help others to be able to share and to be able to add goodness and kindness sometimes in the most bleakest and what seemingly can be the most darkest moments of people's lives and our own one of the things which I found which really helps me lifting me out of a hole or even finding us, let's use that word pit, okay, I often say in my prayers that the Lord's blessed me with a path. Sometimes I find that when I go through something, let me share something with you. Very often in my prayers, I always thank the Lord for the path which I've been blessed with and all the incredible things I've had in my life. But I also thank for the troubled times, the times which grow me, develop me and make me the person I am. Sometimes I find that, and when I always say that, I say that the Lord's blessed me with a path. Every one of us, whatever path we've been gifted with, will fall off of that path at one stage and we will fall into a position into that dreadful pit with with poor mental health with emotions and you can be going through absolute hell okay you can be going through absolute hell but what i try to do is when i'm going through a difficult time and i'm in that that mid of that storm that's how i that's how i associate it that's how i try to help other people when you're going through that storm in your life but that storm will pass pass so i've fallen off that i've fallen off my path okay i've fallen into that pit but i will get back up my faith has a strong guidance i have incredible parents and just that strength in me i really concentrate and work on but how do i get that strength do you know what when i'm in that zone, when I'm in that position, when I've fallen off of that path, when I'm just having a really down moment, or I'm going through something difficult, and we'll go into that in just a moment, one of the first things I do is I literally start the day with, after having done my prayers in the evening, with hopefully getting some rest, having a night's sleep, waking up in the morning, and of course, sometimes, as much as we'd love to, that storm hasn't passed. But the one thing to be able to help us get through that storm, what I always find, and not everybody will be able to do this, but is literally getting yourself ready, okay, putting that smile on, even though you're going through something, and putting that to one side in your mind. And of course, you will have a voice in your mind which will be telling you, you need to stress, you need to worry about this. But just trying to ignore and put that aside and actually throwing yourself into a situation of helping others. So, for example, if you've got siblings, if you've got parents and you know something's happening at the moment in the family or you've got a friend at work which is going through a particularly bad time, sometimes parking our own situation or actually just thinking, do you know what? 
I'm in this situation at the moment. I'm in the bottom of the pit at the moment, okay? But the way I'm helping myself out of this is I'm gonna help others. I've been through some rubbish, so I'm gonna help others get through or get stronger in their own situation at the moment, or perhaps even just giving them a shimmer of light to think actually, do you know what? Yeah, I went through that. I've been there a couple of years ago or a couple of weeks ago. I felt I can, I can sympathize, yes, but be careful with that term. But I can connect and I can relate, I can communicate and I can empathize with you. And I can just be a person, I can just listen. Because I can help, I'm in the bottom of my situation at the moment, in this dark gloomy storm at the moment, but remembering, do you know what, I'm going to help myself out of this situation because I'm going to help others as well. Now, that can really, really help I, I believe most things in a situation, when you come back to it, yes, you'll still be in that storm, but you'll be better equipped with understanding yourself from a well-being point of view, from an emotional point of view, and you would have given yourself a bit of breathing space to think that actually, do you know what, yes, I'm in the bottom of that pit at the moment and I'm going through absolute hell, but... I'm taking a moment to breathe, I'm taking a moment to compose, and I'm coming back to this situation stronger. And you know what, my friend? These situations, these storms do pass. And the whole essence of this clip today is that you do get stronger from it. You do come out the other end. You do come out with some wounds sometimes, you really do. And you come through being quite beaten up emotionally sometimes, and sometimes we do it to ourselves, sometimes our health does it to us, and sometimes this Sometimes this fallen world we live in does it to us as well. But we do get through it, my friend. And sometimes you think, and, I, and I've been there, and you think, I can't do this. I can't do this. And you know what? I've been there. To share this with you, I lost my nan, who is my absolute world and is my second mum in this world, on the 31st of May, 2021. I looked after my grandmother throughout her battle with Alzheimer's. It never, ever defined her. My nan taught me so much in this world. And you know what? She still teaches me now. She's always here, okay? But the time when I lost her, I just had an operation. On the 25th of May, I went through major surgery. And I had developed a real... It was, it was an absolute horrendous time in my life anyway. And I developed a real dangerous, nasty hematoma. Um, and I had to do some traveling to have this surgery. It was quite a few hours from where I lived. And then it was a Sunday where we got the call where um, my nan, um, I won't go in, I don't want to go into to what happened, but she, she went through, it was a very, very tragic circumstance, which I lost my nan with. Um, and it was shy of several days of her birthday, which we went from planning her birthday party to her funeral. But you know what, at this time, when I got to my nan and I always had in my mind, oh my goodness, if, if I ever lost my nan, I couldn't go on in this world. I couldn't. I couldn't cope. I couldn't manage without her being in this, in this life. I couldn't. I couldn't not cope. And I remember just crying in times where my nan's Alzheimer's was changing and things were deteriorating. But nan was always nan. She was always my nan. And it was hell. There was times where it was absolute hell. And there was times where I was thinking, do you know what? I can't get through this. But, you know, it's when you look back at those situations of how you acted, how you composed among family members when all hell is taking place. And you're going through a really difficult time and you think to yourself, well, how on earth did I get through that? Or, or how did I support Nan? Or how did I be a shoulder for other family members? Or how did I look mum in the face when her mother was getting worse and deteriorating and she died in the circumstances of which she did as well? How? How did I get through that? How did I wake up the following morning, get ready and face the day and face family and slowly, day by day, get through my recovery, eventually go back to work and pick up some form of life? How did I ever smile again? And you really do think at that time, that it's over. I remember I was with my nan when she took her last breath and I, with all my heart, looked at her and thought, you know what, you've taken my soul with me as well. You're with the Lord, I have the utmost faith and that has got me through. But don't get me wrong, there's days where 
faith is everything to me. Um, there's days where I can just, just cry and weep. But our strength comes from the hurt, the pain, the suffering we go through in life. And that's dreadful, isn't it? That's dreadful. And people people say to me that, and I've heard it before, how can there be a Lord when all the dreadful things that goes on? And I've known them myself. Well, actually, my first thought now, okay, is that actually even the Lord knew suffering. He sacrificed his only son. I won't go into it any further. Okay, look at what Jesus went through for, for my sin, for your sin. And through that, he had ever, everlasting glory in life. And that's where my nan is, and she's with me always. But in that bleak, dark time, there wasn't a shed of anything light or positive. Of course there wasn't. But as the days passed, now I went back to being my nan. She's always my nan for eternity. She's always right here. And although it breaks my heart that I can't hug her and give her a kiss on the cheek and and have adventures and memories and things with her. I was blessed to have her in my life for all of those years and she lived a long life up until the age of 95. It was far too soon, far too soon. But you, there is, when we go through these storms and we think, oh my God, it's destroyed, life is over. We can't get, I can't get through this. Do you know what? Afterwards, when that storm passes, and at the end of every storm, remember this, okay, and I'd love to think that this was mine, but it's not. I've heard it from somewhere and I can't remember. A bright new sunrise follows that bright, beautiful horizon uh, through the storm. It follows, it rises. So think of it like this. We go through the darkness. We go through the difficult storm. It rips our heart out. Okay. But do you know what? Even from the situation which I've just gone through there, Nan taught me that yes, badness, bad things happen in life. But it's almost like throughout my whole life, I had a jar with my nan. Okay, me and my nan's relationship, bond. And it's almost like that throughout my whole life, things were being put in, memories, beautiful cherished moments, beautiful times. And it's almost like that that's here. So whatever we went through, whatever badness happened, that's never ever going. And for all eternity, she's my nan. That's the strength which I got through that situation. Yes, she suffered. Yes, she suffered. And we know that suffering goes on in the world. But do you know what? What happened is nan battled all the way through as that strong individual, that strong person. She done what she wanted, when she wanted. She remained that independent person. She's a beautiful, stunning soul character, and she will always be my nan. And yes, she went through suffering, and I lost her. But I didn't really lose her. And she got through all of that, and yes, she suffered, but now she's with the Lord above, and she will always be with me. And it's almost like that we gain that sense of Life, experience, um, strength, faith, love, everlasting love. I think when you truly love somebody, nothing, even death can't beat that. Me personally, physical issues, health issues. Um, I'll share this with you. Since 2022, it's been getting worse. And I've had a lot of health issues, surgeries and things, groin surgeries for having the wrong mesh, hernia problems bladder related problems, um, hearing loss, and more recently, uh, episodes of loss of awareness, unconsciousness, seizures, to now going through tests and a long battling journey for potential epilepsy. I went from the last several years having lots of all different holidays and adventures and things and doing what I wanted to now lots and lots of appointments, lots of uncertainty, very, very regular um, episodes of falling, um, a &E visits, seizures. I live in the family home. I was planning to buy my first home. My mum and dad were off traveling. My dad's coming up to retirement. Um, they're now with me all the time. I'm not allowed to be on my own. But you know what, you go through this and we've got choices. 
okay, even in my situation, and believe you me, there are far, far people, far more people than me, worse off, okay, I absolutely wake up, and I appreciate every single element in my life, I'll be honest, I don't always, and that's where we all fall down, I'm not proclaiming to be something I'm not, I am no saint, and I always think that as a Christian, okay, you're not a saint, we're not a saint, you're not a saint, you, you just, it's not about being a saint, it's about that relationship, and sometimes I want to scream and shout to God, and sometimes I do, sometimes I want to sit there in tears about my nan, I do, when I go through the problems which I've had lately, I'm in a storm, that storm passes, it comes back sometimes quickly, okay, but that storm, it equips me, it equips me, and it teaches me, and it educates me, and do you know what? I've got a choice. I can either show the sometimes unwell, the sometimes cloudy mind, the sometimes the strength to be able to get yourself out of it, the strength to be able to sort yourself out today, put your nice smart clothes on, sort your hair out, shave, get all that done, Bradley, first tick. Okay, then appreciate everything you've got. I have the privilege of waking up in the morning in a beautiful family home with my beautiful parents, my brothers are there at the end of the phone, my sister-in-law, my brother's fiancé, my nieces, nephews, I've got all that, my nan's forever my nan, my father's parents, my grandparents, I've got all of that, I appreciate, hold on to that, it teaches me that actually, do you know what, sometimes when I feel dreadful, and my parents never ever say anything, they don't at all, but I know they wanted to have their holidays and their, their travelling, even in the months was just passed into this and we're only in April, but in 2024, I know all that's had to stop for me, and that's because they're incredible parents, and I know they wouldn't have it any other way, but I do feel guilty, and it's almost like that all of what I'm going through teaches me, do you know what, actually, the value, and I know, again, we have to go through these things, and you think that actually, you're in it, are you strong, when I asked on the clip, are you stronger, do you know what, when you go through something, you don't see it, you don't see it when you're going through something, you don't see it when you're in the ground, when you're on the, in the bottom of your, your, the situation of a pit is to speak but when you get through that and you have that light afterwards and that storm passes and then you think actually do you know what I am a strong person do you know what there is only one of us and for that simple fact we're amazing let's appreciate that fact let's honor that fact let's respect that fact let's do good and when we can, let's do good things. When we're going through something, when we're not feeling particularly great, let's help others, let's support others, let's do nice things. Doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to be anything of monetary value at all. Sometimes just giving your time to others, can be your family, can be a friend, can be somebody on the end of a phone, okay? Giving your time to others. Sometimes just simply listening. Sometimes when you're going through the worst situation ever, and you know that somebody else is, to think, actually, do you know what? For five seconds, in your head, you're absolutely fine. How are you? And then all of what you're going through just flattens and flows away for a little bit and you put your whole awareness and your whole person to them, your whole undivided attention to them. You get that strength, you get that clarity, you're helping that person. And the magic happens. You feel a little bit better. It helps you, it helps your well-being. All of these things it teaches us when we go through that storm and we think, do you know what, there can be nothing positive about what I'm going through at all. But do you know what, actually, it's really made me appreciate the bonds in my family. It really makes me appreciate just how good I have things in my life. My incredible parents, my incredible family home, the memories and things which I've had, the, the adventures that I've already had, to think that actually some people will never have that. I know I've had operations and I know I'm probably facing some pretty nasty things coming up. But you know what? I don't know what the future holds. None of us do. So let's appreciate today. But we're not promised a tomorrow just yet. And you know what? When you sit and think of it, actually, there are just so many things to think of anyway. When we go through a storm and it passes, do you know what? There are people, and I always say like when people get stressed out about age and things, you know, there will be people who will be your age forever. They will never have that privilege, that blessing to step on that step of being one year older. To have good health, you are so rich. You don't have to have money to be rich. You can be rich in love. You can be rich in absolutely many, many things more than monetary value. And I know you can't do anything without it, money, but sometimes, even with it, you can't do things with it. Think about that one. 
do you know what? I have a good job in one thing or another and I don't have a family to support like my brothers and things do at the moment. But right now I'm quite tied. It's, I know it's hard and it's difficult talking about it as well. But actually, do you know what? Whatever we go through, when that storm passes, you are stronger, my friend, because you're stronger in life experience. Like, for example, health-wise, you're stronger because you know then that next time I'm not going to do that because it made me feel this way or I'm not going to do that because it brought that on. Let's think of it logically, in relationship. I know when I fall to the ground, or if I, that could be hypothetically, sadly, it's been physically and true, and I know the people I can count on in my life. There's been some people in my life who I thought I could. <laughs> this teaches us. Do you know what I mean? When we go through that storm, it teaches us, it educates us. It, yes, grounds us, but it also, it prospers us as well. And some people might think, what on earth are you going on about? That bad health can prosper us? Yeah, do you know what? Sometimes it does. For me, it gives me perseverance to keep going no matter what. I am an absolute advocate, advocate for learning and education. I'm still doing all of that now in finance and business. I love all of that in accountancy. For me, nothing's going to stop me. Do you think my health's going to stop me from getting back up and achieving what I want? No. Ask me that a few years ago when I've gone through some things. I thought, no, I can't do it. That's it. I'm completely finished. Absolutely not. So it's given me a tolerance. It's grown my tolerance. It's grown my perseverance. It's grown my love for not wanting to stop, for managing multiple priorities. So much goodness. And yeah, not from a good thing. So much goodness came, not from a good thing. Let's spin it back round. Okay, through the hell... I went through and there's no other words for it, losing Nan. Of course, every single day, I wish that she was by my side always. As I always say, if the Lord would have allowed it, I'd have held my Nan a lifetime. But you know what? She may not be here in person, but she's always here. And as I say, going back to that analogy of that jar, that life, all those beautiful cherished moments and memories, it's right here. If I'm not alone, she's with me always. And yes, I weep and yes, I cry sometimes because she's not physically, but she is. And I'd give anything to hear her voice. And I often say to my poor mum, it was, it was her mum. Um, I often say to my poor mum, if I could just have a room for five minutes sat on a sofa and then Nan would come in through the door and I'd have five minutes. Of course, I'd be greedy. I'd hold her there for an extra five, probably five hours. And I'd probably never let go. But you know what? She's always my Nan. There's a strength in so many things. In ill health, it's not always easy to see, especially when it takes a, a horrific turn and especially when it's a child who's unwell. I've had a niece who, um, I've got a niece who's, who, doesn't ha who hasn't had great health at the start of her life, but she's prospering so strongly now. And that storm is passed from my twin brother and his fiance and my little niece. And that storm's passed. And do you know what? She's so resilient. She's so strong. And she's learned so much that through her ill health and her health problems, that do you know what? She's got a bit of a cheek and a flair about her. And even at her age now, it's almost like she can take on the whole world. It is strange that do you know what? Sometimes when we go through bad things, it's almost like that you have to go through something bad to be able to help others, to be able to support others, to be able to teach, to be able to help, to be able to support and to be able to love life and appreciate life. And on that note, strange topic, but when you get through your storm, are you stronger? Yes, you are, my friend. God bless you. And I'll be speaking to you real soon. Bye for now.